Hello there. Welcome to Tuck and Cash. So this is game five of the Wingspan Premier League. So I'll try my best today. Have to give it all I have. So looking at the tray here, quite a few good birds. Um, honestly, the Mockingbird is really good for engine building. Um, say you have a tucking engine, um, having the Mockingbird is basically like a second tuck bird. So it's really good. Even though it's, the upfront cost is a little bit expensive, but if you play in the right time, you you're gonna make, you're gonna get the value back. Um, the yellow throat, um, one one grub, and for wetland, definitely, you know, great for early game. And you gain one card too, so. And the American crow, also one of my favorite because it's a very flexible bird. Um, it takes wild food and it can live anywhere and it's four points so and so the power allows you to exchange one egg for food can be a really good way to you know just kind of flash out your bird um, in the early game so you can one of my go-to strategies to play the American crow in the grassland and then you lay eggs get one food um, that hopefully can help you to play other birds. So yeah, it, it's definitely one one of my favorite. So the goal here, we have eggs in wetland, um, birds in the forest, set of eggs and ground nests. So the nest type doesn't matter as much in this game, really. Um, quite different from a lot of the recent ga recent games that I've played. I mean, obviously, we'll have to look at the hands too. Let's see. <gasps> oh man, the kill deer again. I think I have to clarify this. <laughs> if you have been following my videos, um, you would notice that kill deers come up so often in my game. Um, it just does. <laughs> I, I, let me let me try to think. This must be the third times I drew either the kill deer or the gull in the past three games. I just played two games. So one I drew the kill deer, and then the second one I drew the gull, and then now I drew the kill deer again. Um, all right, we'll talk more about the kill deer, but let me look at my bonus card. So birds that eat grain or birds that eat grub. So in this case, um, so in this case, I definitely would prefer to pick up the crow because, you know, I won't be using the wetland to get cards. So the crow will definitely help me a lot. Um, so we'll see. So I want to go with the kill. So for the bonus card, I don't really like the bird feeder um, because you have to play five birds to play to get three points. Um, it's very low reward. Um, so I think the food web expert might be a better options here. I know that's not that many birds that only eat grub but you have to play two to get four points but the QD does eat um, grain hmm tough choice here um, in that case let me yeah, I have to go back to that. So, not the bunting. I don't have a bonus. Do I want to pick up the whooping crane? It's not a bad idea. Um, the barn owl. 
maybe the barn owl. No, the barn owl is not going to work because there's no rodent in the bird feeder right now. Um, and really what I'm looking for is also birds with um, a lot of spots for egg. And... And the whooping crane doesn't fit the bill because that's only one spot. Um, so one of the problem with playing kill deer in the grassland is um, you need to lay eggs to draw cards, but you'll find that sooner than later you're gonna run off um, spots to to um, to hold all those eggs. So I think I'm go I'm gonna go with all food here. Um, and hmm, the bird feeder or oh, the food web expert. Uh, fine, I'll go with the bird feeder since my cute deer does eat grain. Or no. Because I'm thinking I might pick up the yellow throat for all the spots and if I pick the foot web um, it will give me two more points all right I have to decide now I'm taking way too long hmm all right anyway I am going to go with all food um, since there's fish quite a few fish I'll go with the cherry and um, uh, all right, I don't know why. I just have a weird feeling that I should go with um, the food web here. Decided. Um, yeah, the the kill deer. Um, so the kill deer. It's obviously very powerful. I mean, the debating question is whether it's overpowered. I personally think it is. Alright, I'll play the kill deer. I'll use the grain because there's quite a few grain in the bird feeder right now. Maybe I can pick up both the crow and the yellow throat. The grass beak is not a bad idea because I do need a bird um, in the forest to help me to gain more food. So maybe the grass beak and the, cr the crow. All right, they play the tree swallow. Oh, I have such bad memory. I don't remember what was the bird that they pick up in, in turn one. Um, oh, the mockingbird. Yes, the mockingbird. Yep, that, that's a good one. That's gonna help them with the engine building. Um, so if I pick up the grass beak, I can play the crow and then use the crow to gain food to help me to play the grass beak. I think that's a good plan here. So here we go. Those are some of good options for my opponent here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of regretting that I did not play, did not pick the bird feeder. <laughs> I, I wonder if I'm going to score any points from this bonus card. So if I pick that up, it will help me with the first round bonus. Mm, let's see what they do. I don't think they have a lot of incentive to pick up the yellow throw. Um, so, I think they might be more interested in the Sparrow. Um, the Sparrow 
again, if they don't pick it up, um, I, I would definitely pick up, well, they did, the Sparrow. The Sparrow is such a good bird to play, um, that Chipping Sparrow um, is such a good bird to play in the forest because you gain egg um, when you gain food. So I don't think they're interested in the yellow throat. Oh, the forest turn, four points. Um, you know, a star nest. All right, I think either one of those I'll be happy with. So let me play the crow first. Um. Let's see if they pick up any of those birds. The star nest... You know, like I say, the, the nest type is not the most important in this game. The, so the yellow throat is 3 points because of, um, of my bonus card. The forest turn is 1 point more in the star nest. Okay, they play the hummingbird. So I might be getting some free food. Um, I will always welcome that. So let's see. So I need a, I think I need another grub to either play the forest turn or I don't want both. Hmm. So between the yellow throat and the turn, so I'm I'm sacrificing one point for two more slot of egg for eggs. It might be worth it. Um, since I've I've played kill deer opening for a few times now, I noticed that not having enough spots for eggs um, is kind of a problem. Do I need more bird in the wetland? I'm thinking picking up the yellow throat and the hog. The thing is, that's not going to be um, any rodent in the bird feeder. Maybe I'll go with both the turn and the yellow throat. Um, Since I can easily play those um, with my crow. So they have four four slots for eggs. I also have four. I mean I can I can I can do I have enough turns? I can potentially play the yellow throat. Ooh, food. Very good. I needed that one food to play. Okay. I think I can play both the yellow throat and the turn. To to score maybe even win the bonus for first round. But let me play the yellow throat. Um Especially there's no good bird to pick up right now. I mean, not really. I mean, they're good. But I need a lot of rodent to play them. The hog and the eagle, the golden eagle. And there's no rodent right now. So I think what I would do, I'll, I'll play the turn as well. And I can lay more eggs than they do, so I definitely have an advantage here. So, so they have the Mockingbird. So the question is, where are they going to play the Mockingbird? In the grassland or in the wetland? I think playing it in the wetland might not be a bad idea. So if they play the Mockingbird in the wetland, they can they can get two points by activating the vet wetland and then use the grassland to get food using the hummingbird. Um, 
The problem is, since I have the kill deer, by giving me food, um, they are really helping me a lot. So it's definitely a double-edged sword here. Um, I think their trouble now is they need a grub to play the Mockingbird. So the Mockingbird takes a cherry and a grub. So right now there's no, there's no grub in the bird feeder. So they are contemplating maybe whether to use the Hummingbird to get a grub. So if they activate a Hummingbird and let me pick first, um, I might mess up their plan if I if I don't pick up the grain and pick the fish instead. Um, so the drawn bird. Um, the parry chicken for a bonus card. Alright, I'm not too concerned about picking any of those birds right now. Because if I can gain the four points lead um, in round one, it's a pretty good deal. If they don't play any more birds in their wetland, I really only need five eggs to win the round. Um, and I only need five. I mean that that's what I what I just talked about. I think they they wanted a grub to play the mockingbird. Um, that's why they let me pick first. Um, so I think I should deny them that grub. So I think their plan was, they were hoping I would pick up the grain so that they can re-roll the bird feeder um, to get the grub to play the Mockingbird. Um, I know it's kind of mean for me to do that, but knowing how good of a player they are, um, I just have to play my best here. So I'm going to go with my plan and lay eggs. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend any eggs. So, skip and skip. I mean, this plan might backfire. I lay six eggs and it, again, I might run into the problem where my spots for, for egg would just fill up so there you go they they have to gain that one food they took the they took the grub um oh they used the they used the mockingbird too um but it's too late so what do i want um do i want another cherry so i can pick up cherry or grain using my grass beak. Um, I'm thinking picking up another fish. Hmm. Or oh, the grain. I'm having trouble picking a food here. Maybe I'll pick up the cherry. Or oh, the grain. Yeah, I'll just pick up the grain. Yep. Like I say, they, they needed that one one grub to play the Mockingbird, um, so I didn't give them that. They could have played the Mockingbird and then lay eggs, so they could have competed for the first round bonus. Um, so my plan kind of worked. So right now, what do I need to do? So there will be a set of eggs, so I only need five. And I think I should, I should exchange do I want, okay, do I want to get, gain food or do I want to gain, um, do I want to gain cards? Um, the parry chicken is not bad for bonus card and ground nest and it has a lot of egg spot. So yeah, maybe I should gain, 
the parry chicken. No, but the thing is, if I if I pick up the parry chicken, I cannot play the grass beak. I kind of want to play the grass beak soon. Hmm. So. Let's, let's just, huh. And lay eggs. Oh no, skip this. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing much. Oh, look at this. The raven, are you kidding me? And good thing I'm going first in the new round. Um, even if I don't play the Raven, um, I'll have to deny it. So, and the House Finch is very good. So, um, I think I'm going to, all right. What food do I need? I can even play the Raven, honestly. Um, do I want to play the Raven? It might not be a bad idea. In that case, I don't need to exchange eggs for food. Yeah, I'll skip this. Um, spend one eggs. Oh, I should have I should have exchanged for a rodent. My bad. Yeah, I forgot the raven needed a rodent, so yeah, I should I should have gotten a. I mean, do I really want to play the raven though? Here's the thing. They might be activating the hummingbird a lot, so that kind of minimize my power my my power um, using the rodent so you kind of minimize the value of the raven um, and also I already have a crow so hmm. but I'm still glad that I drew the raven because um, yeah I think there's just so many paths here. If I play the Raven, um, it can really help me to play the, say, the Swan and the Flycatcher, and their really high points, Bird. Um, I'm kind of so. If I play, say, I play the House Finch. I also want to look at this round bonus birds in the forest. My original plan is to play the grass beak. Let me play the house finch. Um, and see if they pick up any of, you know, either the trumpeter swan or the flycatcher. Um, if they don't, then I'll, I'll play the Raven. Because in that case, I'll have an engine to get three foods. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely giving up on a engine game here. All right, they, they did not pick up Yeah. Did you see what they what they do here? Um, they just play the mockingbird with the hummingbird, so they might double activate the hummingbird. So is that really a point for me to play the raven? It's questionable because I have a feeling they are going to double activate the hummingbird. 
So with that much food, um, with that much food coming, really no points for me to play the Raven. I might be wrong. They they might be just, you know, messing with my head playing the Mockingbird in the grassland. But um, maybe I maybe I. I will bet on that. Um, in any case, let me see. So I, if I can play the Trumpeter Swan, the Flycatcher. My most immediate concern is to play the Grosbeak because I need a bird in the forest to score for the second round bonus. So, um, yep, I'll draw more cards. Let's see, all right. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to regret not picking the bird feeder as my bonus card. But really, I just need to play one more bird that eat grubs to score four points, and that that would be better already. So I think my next move is going to play the Grosbeak. I mean, even if they don't give me all the free food, um, I still have a pretty good chance of picking up um, food using the forest. Because the grass beak allowed me to pick up a granular cherry, and those are the food that I need to play the swan and the scissor fly catcher. And when I play the scissor fly catcher, I can get grub that help me play other birds. So yeah, I think I'm good with, oh, the wobbler. Are they going to pick that up? If not, um, yes, please. All right, they pick up some bonus card. All right, in that case, um, I would definitely light the wobbler. So, all right. I think I'll discard the egg. Um, oh, for food, um, a grub. Do I want to pick up the kite? Um, it's good because it's cheap. I can play it in the forest to help me compete for the second round bonus. Oh, the cast and sparrow. That's not bad either because I'm spending quite a few eggs in my grassland. But let me pick up the Mississippi kite. Um, yeah, I did not regret that choice. So if I can play both the wobbler and the kite in the forest. I might be to I might be able to score for the second round bonus too. So I only have two more turns. I mean it's it's very unlikely I can play both birds, but um I'll try. No, I I don't think that's going to happen. But they are giving me two food, potentially. That can change everything. Oh, but unfortunately, those are not exactly the food that I need. Oh, but it still can. I can spend four food to play two of this bird. If I, get, if I can get another grain or a rodent. Then I can play two birds in the forest. Yep. Um, that's exactly what I needed. Um, do I want to pick up a grub? Yes, I'll, I'll do the grub. Um, yeah, so in this case... 
Um, so they have two more turns, so potentially they can play two birds in the forest as well. But I don't think they're going to have enough food. So go with one Mississippi kite. And then the wobbler. So I'm going to score for the second round bonus if they don't play any forest bird. Even if they play any forest if any forest bird that can play with a grub or a grain is going to be very low points. So even if they tie with me, um, at least I can be assured that they are not really good forest bird. Oh, look at this. They're giving me more food. Um, I wish I... So what do I pick? The rodent? Sure. Yeah, I can help. I, I would like to help them to roll the dice because if they give me a second food, um, I would like to pick up the the grain because that's what I need to play the wobbler. Oh, they pick up the grain. That's so smart. Um, in this case, I'll pick up another grub. Why not? So, I think it's still worth it for me to play another bird in the forest just to score um, first place for the bonus. Um, I don't need the rodent. I do need the cherry to play the flycatcher, so... Um, one more... F eight. Um, maybe here. Let's see, new bonus card. Forester, um, bird that can only live in wetland. So they are both kind of equal. So I need one more bird in the forest to score four points. Um, but I have the trumpeter swan, so I'm almost guaranteed going to score from the wetland scientist. You know, sometimes you don't know your luck. You, 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 you just might never see a good bird that live in the forest. So I'm going safe with the wetland scientist here. With all the free food that I'm getting, I have a feeling this game, I'm, I'm going to score quite high for this game. Um, so my personal best, um, personal best is 121 in a three players game. I think for two players is, I don't remember. I think it's around 122, 120. Might be a little bit lower. Oh, look at this. The woodcock. I would love to pick up the woodcock. Yeah, I think my score is going to be quite high for this for this game. Um, because I'm getting all the free food from my opponent. So I'm not even spending that much um eggs to get food using the crow. I think I did for quite a few turns, but um, and I already have 8 points bird and 9 points bird that I can play. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no reason for them not to pick up the woodcock because when they draw cards, they get 2 points. And then, by using the Tohi and the Hummingbird, they can easily play the Woodcock um, for a lot of points, because two points from drawing it, and then you lay three eggs, that's five points, and then when you play it, that's eight points. So, two plus three plus eight, two plus three plus eight, that's 13 points for three turns. Yeah, that's averaging four points per turn. 
Oh, they did not. I'm... I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. Do they have a, a sand hill crane? Maybe they're hoping to build that engine there? A sand hill crane would be so powerful for this engine because they can get they can get so many grain and they have the mockingbird to repeat um, the sand hill crane. So the sand hill crane allowed you to discard one crane one grain to tuck two cards. So if you repeat it, you gain four points. So you tuck four cards, that's four points. Well, maybe that's their plan there. Um, the only thing they have to watch out for is they're going to run off spots for eggs. Um, in that case, I'm going to... So it's set of eggs, so... Maybe one here. Three, three, three. Um, let me get the woodcock. Exchange food. So, sure. I think I want to play the flycatcher because I get grub that can help me to play the woodcock. So, um. Discard one egg to gain two cards. The Greed is good because um, I have the Wetland Scientist. Oh, look at this, the Goal. Might be too late to play the Goal at this point. Um, the Whistling Duck might be a good pickup, so I'm gonna play the Swan, the Greed. So the Whistling Duck is going to score me additional 4 points. I'm not sure if, if, it, like, if it's totally going to worth it, but I'm not going to pick it up right now. I might just wait and see if better wetland birds come up. So I think my plan here is to play the flycatcher so that I can gain food and play maybe the woodcock and then work on playing the swan and the creep. I think that's a good plan. Alright, to play the quill. Yep, I, I think it's good. Um, they need the spots. Um, but the quill also lay one egg, so yeah, it, it, it's going to catch up really quickly, like the number of eggs. So how many sets do they have? Oh, it's unfortunate that their sets is being limited by their forest. So they only have one spot in the forest. So I think ideally they want to play more bird um, in the forest so that they can compete for the third round bonus. And they did, they play the wobbler. Um, so they have three sets. Um, so let's see if I can compete with that. So, okay, tug and draw. Do I want to draw the whistling duck? Um, I think I have better opportunity to... I mean, I guess why not? Um, just to have it in hand for now. So I want to play what next? Um, the woodcock. Um, or the swan. So to play the woodcock, I need another grub. So 
and this card and I need to draw more cards do I need more cards maybe not for now maybe let me just skip it for this time let's see what comes up right the Merc Gangster is five points it's actually a better option than the Whistling Duck um yeah, I was right. I should have picked up the bird feeder. Um, one, two, three, four. I would have scored... I might... Yeah, I think you need eight birds to score... Was it seven points from the bird feeder? Eight, eight birds that eat grain to score the maximum for the bird feeder. I don't think I'll play eight, but... I would have at least scored three points. Um, right now, I'm only scoring two points from the food web expert. Um, I'm going to be quite competitive for the last round bonus as well. So ground nest, I have one and a star, and I have two more coming, and the drawn bird. So I have two, three. Yeah, they are pretty competitive too. Um, let's see. The woodcock. I mean, I can also play it in the grassland. Do I want to do that? That might help me to exchange. Um, let's play in the forest. Because if better birds come out for the grassland, I'll have at least one spot to play that. Um, Okay, here's the thing. If I spend the eggs, why I still be able to compete for the rest, the third round bonus? So I need four set. I have a feeling, okay, it's okay. So I have two, two more turns. Um, I don't think I'm missing much even if I lost the the third round bonus. Um kinda want to focus on playing all my birds here. So there's there's three must play birds for me. So I wanna play the swan, the greep, and the mergangster. And I'm going to need food, so it's up to if my opponent is going to give me more food. They might, they're kind of committed to this game of not using the forest to pick up food, so. So I need four sets to beat them. Um, so two. Three here, so that's five, six. I need six eggs. So if I lay eggs twice, I can hit that. Mm. Let's see if they play any birds in the f more birds in the forest. I think I can compete and steal. Um, Oh, they are picking up more food using the hummingbird, I assume. So I'm going to get free food. Okay, I can use the fish for the for the grebe. All right. That is really helping me a lot. So In that case, I think I'll try my best to compete for the third round bonus. Um, okay, um, a grain for sure. So the lay eggs, um, so they only have one more turn. There's no way they can get more than three sets. I mean, that is a chance, um, but less lately. So here's four. Okay, three. 
So I need six eggs and I'm laying grub. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about giving my opponent food right now. Um, do I want to exchange? So I can lay egg, I only need six to win the round. So I can, I can afford to spend two eggs. Um, sure. So what I really need is I have a fish for that. Um, I need another grain to play the swan. I'll skip that for now. And I'm definitely in the lead for the last round bonus too. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I might be winning all the end of round goals here. So that's going to even push my score higher. Is this going to break my personal best? It might. Um, that would be really awesome. Oh, I'm even getting cards here. Um, um, I'll take the snipe because the sparrow makes no sense to me. Um, it makes no sense for them either, um, to them, because they don't have more space in the grassland to play two birds. Um, the snipe is good because instead of spending two food to get five points, um, I only have to spend one. So, and I think I might already have all the food that I need to play um, the three birds. So let's see, they play the oyster. Oh, they didn't even compete for... So, um, in that case, I think I should just play birds um, instead of doing other things. Alright, the swan, the cherry. Um, yeah, they only have one set, right? So, I can spend it anywhere. Alright. Yeah, I might be pushing my personal best here. Feeling hopeful. Um, the cat bird. Um, yeah, I don't really need the cat bird. So I'm playing all the wetland birds. Actually, I'm not quite sure if that's the most optimum play here um, to score the seven points. Um, because I just realized I actually do have quite a few spots for eggs. So if I lay eggs five times, that's going to be 20, 20 eggs. I have more than enough spots for that and I get to tuck. So it's 25 points if I if I just keep laying eggs. 25 points. Um, but instead, I'm playing the Greep and the Wilson Snipe. So the Wilson Snipe and the Greep is 10 points. Minus four eggs. So that's six points. Six points plus four additional points from the wetland scientist so it is 10 points so i think they're equal at least i'm not losing points by playing um, the birds in the wetland so let's see okay and really um it's gonna help me so much with the last round bonus. It's, it's, it's almost going to guarantee me winning the last round bonus. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, even though they play the Bobo Lane, so that's one, two, three, four, five. The, the Wilson Snipe actually brought some extra value here beyond all the points. Um, it helped me to score the ra last round bonus.
Um, so they pick up a food, and let's see. I don't think there's better thing I can do here than just lay eggs for the last three turns. Um, it's five points, right? And I don't think I, I will be drawing more cards because um, I just I just don't have more birds that. Um, oh, look at this! I just missed this. Um, the Wilson snipe also fulfill my first bonus card, so I get two additional points. So, yep, I, I think I think I did the right thing by playing the grief and the snipe. Um, yeah, so I was saying I'm not going to play more birds, so. Unless I, I drew something that just makes sense and is so good. Yeah, the snipe. Yeah, in that case, playing the grief and the snipe was actually better than me laying eggs for five turns. And I like this, I like the fact that I only have one card remaining, um, which is exactly the number of cards I need to score from the Finch. And I don't have a lot of excess food left, so I'm really maximizing um, the value of all my resources here. Um, and I, I did end up doing the right thing, um, picking the food web expert um, as opposed to the bird feeder because I score four points here um, instead of three points if I pick up the bird feeder. So I play the yellow blackbird. Um, probably because they needed more spots for eggs. Um, I'm not sure actually. Hmm, maybe some bonus that they need to score. Alright, so still need one X here and then Okay. Yeah, I would say that the stars really line up for me in this game. A lot of things really work out for me. Yep, I'm now I'm definitely very curious about what my score is going to be. Dare I say it might break 130? It might be possible. We'll find out soon. All right, one last turn. Ooh, the wild turkey. Um, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm skipping this. Got distracted by the wild turkey here. Yeah, if the wild turkey um, came up earlier, it might make sense for me to play the wild turkey. I mean, I'm not sure because I only have one grain, so I need to spend two eggs to play the wild turkey, and then I need to spend another two eggs to play it. So it's really only a four points play. Um, yeah, maybe it's not worth it, even if you, if it um, came up, come up earlier. So they have one more turn, I think. Laying eggs, yes. Oh. Ah, I missed the last round bonus. That was such a stupid mistake. I thought it was birds with um, ground nests. Alright, we'll review that. Let's see what the score. I'm so excited. Wow, 63 points. That must be my record for birds points as well. Mm. 
Where am I at right now? 117. Um, still a very good point. Actually, it is a little bit lower than I expected. Um, but I'm not going to complain. It's such a good score. Um, yeah, apparently the 120 ceiling is really hard to break. Um, so, yep, I... I misread the last round bonus here. I thought is um, birds with ground nests, but turn out it's eggs in ground nests. And I don't know if I could have won that one. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven plus two. That's thirteen. How much did they score? Um, I think six. Nine. Oh, I don't think I, I could have won that one either way, but I did misread that. That 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 doesn't happen that often. But yeah, I was just too excited about how everything is going for me. Um, yeah, that was that was a really good game. Um, again, just to demonstrate um, how strong it is to play the kill deer opening. Um, you know, this day I, I almost feel bad for playing the Q deer because they're just so hard um, to play against. Um, I guess it's fair because I have my fair games playing against the Q deer opening. Um, but in any case, um, that was the game. Um, I I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.